Hey guys, this is Silan. In this video, we'll see what exactly is EJS. So let's Google it first. So, what is EJS? All right. So, EJS or Embedded JavaScript Templating is a templating engine used by Node.js. Template engine helps you to create an HTML template with min minimal code. Also, it can inject data into a HTML template on the clients and produce the final HTML. Alright, so basically we use EJS to inject our data in HTML files. So suppose that I have created an application.js file and that file stores some variables. And if I want to send that variable or you can see if I want to export that variable into an HTML document, I can use EJS. Alright, so let's try that. So first of all, I'm going to just open my Visual Studio code. Okay, and here I'm going to create a new folder called EJS and I'm going to create a new file here called index.js as well as I'm going to create a new file called index.html. Alright, so inside index.js let us first um, install the express over here. So I'm going to go inside EJS and install the express by um, typing npm install express All right, and inside the HTML let's quickly type the HTML alright so now over here I want to install EJS so for installing EJS just type here npm i EJS right so now it, is, uh, now it is installed here now what I want here is that let's let, let us first type the basic uh, HTML here so I'm gonna create a file basically in this file we'll see we are going to we Asha uh, wait a second Alright, in this research we are going to we are going to make a project in which the HTML document gives us the day which is today. <laughs> Sorry for my English. So basically we are going to make an HTML document in which if we'll load that HTML page then will then that page will give us what day is today all right then we'll do that with ejs okay so first of all let's import everything so i'm gonna just uh, and one more thing you need to import body parser also just type here npm or just leave that body parser for a second and this time here constant express is equal to require express and constant app is equal to we're gonna use express Okay, and here now every templating library that like EJS that requires a um, view engine. Okay, so we are going to set up that. So we are going to write here app dot set view engine, and we are going to set that view engine to EJS. EJS. All right. So now we have set our view engine to EJS. And after that, we need to um, create a view folder. Just because using any templating engine like EJS, there should be a view folder in your folder, right? So, like my main folder, my root folder is EJS, and inside that, I'm going to create a folder called view. So V I E W. And notice that it's not view; it's V I E W S views. Okay. And inside that views folder, let's create a new file called index.ejs okay and basically each everything that you have typed inside this HTML document can be typed in EJS okay so quickly let's type our HTML document that hi hi my name is and here there should be my name in this bracket I should type my name but that name I will send it from the um, JavaScript file. So let us quickly copy all this HTML document and paste it inside index.ejs file. Alright, and let's go inside index.javascript and now let's 
use it for, but for that let us first listen and let us first set up our get, get request so I'll type here app dot listen and I'm gonna listen on port 1 2 3 4 all right and after that I'm gonna set up a get request anything inside my root directory I'll set up a request and response callback and um, now I have to send a response and in that response I have to send that uh, that EJS file that is basically our HTML so I will type here response dot render okay so we are rendering a file and let's type here a simple braces I'm gonna zoom in if you can't see now okay right so response dot render and here I'm gonna just type my file name so basically my file name was index dot EJS that is over here and we should not um, type the full directory like the views just because it automatic it automatically check for the views folder so I just need to type here but my file name without the exist extension okay so I'm gonna type here index all right I'll just type here comma here and now what I want to export so basically the variable that I want to export is name and this should contain my name that is Sahil right okay now let's try to run that let's see what happens so let us first save that and <coughs> notice that the variable that I am exporting right now is a name so I need to get that or I need to retrieve that variable in index.ejs so how could I do that so for retrieving a variable there is a ejs syntax that is arrow percentage is equal to percentage arrow right I'm zooming so arrow like you can see that over here arrow percentage is equal to percentage arrow and inside this equal let's type the variable that we are exporting so by default I'm exporting a variable called Sahil now I'm exporting a variable called name here right so I'm exporting a variable called name so I'm going to retrieve that name over here and for retrieving that I need to type this one this is the EJS syntax alright now let's try to run that again so I'm gonna type here node index dot javascript okay now let's see let's go on to port 1234 localhost 1234 hi my name is Sahil what exactly happened here is that you can see that here I have exported a file I, I, I have exported a variable called name and this name contains Sahil now this as this variable get exported over here my name is being displayed over here now if I want I can change it to something like Sahil Singh let's save that refresh it and we need to run that again sorry yep and I got my full name now now using this we are going to make a project in this if it is a weekend like what is weekend first of all weekend is just Saturdays and Sunday so if it is Saturday or Sunday then our page should type weekend and if it is Monday Tuesday Wednesday that is work day our page should type work day so let's quickly make that project over here so if you want to try you can try that first I'm gonna make that project over here so for that what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a um, new variable called day is equal to new date all right now let's console dot log day let's see what we get <coughs> all right sorry for that we got our full date okay but I don't want the full date I just want the weekday so let's see uh, I'm gonna just type here console.log day dot get day all right 
Now let's try to run that again. Alright, it's a function and I forgot to write the brackets here. Okay, let's try to run that again. We got zero. What does zero mean? Zero mean today is Sunday and today is Sunday. So basically it is something like that, like one for Monday, two for Tuesday, three for Thursday, four for Friday, five for Saturday. I I, I, I thought I missed one in between. Okay, I'll do that again. One for Monday, two for Tuesday, three for Wednesday, four for Thursday, five for Friday, six for Saturday, and then zero for Sunday. So it goes something like this. Now we are going to do something like if it's zero or six, we need to print it's a weekend, or and if it is nothing, then if it is one, two, three, four, five, then we are going to print it's a weekday. Okay. Now let's try to run that again. Um, so the code that I want to create here is that if day that simple um, if I was thinking if day dot get get day if it's zero or day dot get day is equal to one so if that is equal to zero or if that is equal to six not one that is equal that should be equal to six so if get day is zero or if get day is six then i'm gonna render response dot render i'm sending it to index.ejs file and here i'll type here okay so we are in and here i'm going to import that uh, variable so for importing as i have said earlier let's zoom in we have to fight we have to first write here the angular bracket then percentage then equal to then the variable name then percentage then uh, the angular bracket close right let's go back to index.js file and here let's set up a variable name so variable that i want to export is today date or today or okay today day <coughs> and this variable should contain wwq week e and d weekend so if day is zero or if day is six that is saturday or sunday then i'm gonna just export a variable called today day and that will contain weekend right now let's try to retrieve this variable inside dot index dot ejs file so i'm gonna just copy the name and paste it over here and all right there we go we have we are done now let's try to first of all let's delete this one just because i don't want it now now let's try to run that again okay let's refresh it so we are in weekend just because today's date is zero and let's set our else statement else if nothing if if we are not in six or if we are not in zero then the else statement i want to send here is response dot render index and today's day is equal to work days all right now let's try to save that and run it again and it's not going to show anything so now let us see if that works or not by cha by changing the day to maybe one so what i do here is that i'm gonna just type here variable which uh, variable which day is equal to day dot get day okay and i'm gonna just replace everything with this variable okay now let's refresh it oh first of all i need to save that refresh it nothing happens now what i want here is that let's change the week which day to one and let's see what happens so which day now is equal to one 
Okay. Now let's see. First of all, let's save that. Let's run it again. So we are in work days. It's because I have changed it to one. And as I change that to zero, that is Sunday. I'm gonna um. I'm gonna just try to run that again. Now we are in weekend. Okay, so it is working. Now we need. We don't need this. So let's remove that. So we have made our page. If you want, you can actually decorate the page by just using any bootstrap template. And we have made our page that can that can tell us are we in weekend or are we in or are we in a work days. Now what you can do it is that you can just like play it over here and type here which day we are in, what is the time and what is the month number, what is the date. You can do all that using this. So if you want, you can do that. That's a good project. So this is the end of this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you on another video. Till then, take care.